Welcome to Planning for Adventure. In today's episode, we start making some of those preparations for spring, celebrating family and St. Patrick's Day, and dealing with some weather warnings while we get to some spring cleaning, some plans, and of course, there's always strange Swedish traditions. There are so, so many things that I'm excited about and and really, really happy about right now, like the van being fixed, finally being able to make plans for spring. Uh, or are we? But first, we need to get something for Thomas. And uh, watch I it, watch it. I think the best place is the mall. Because there's more stuff there. We need to wash the car, but it's raining today, so it doesn't look as awful as it did yesterday. It's streaks of salt and oh my goodness. Yeah, we need to fix that. Okay, so Solentuna Center Mall? Yeah. It's so tricky to try to figure out what to wear or how warm it's gonna be or how cold it's gonna be because it's just strange. March in Sweden is always a bit of a wild card with temperatures both up in the double digits as well as going sub-zero. You don't know if you're gonna get rain or snow but now that the spring equinox has passed and the days are getting longer we're moving towards the lighter half of the year and that's always full of fun possibilities. So Tom said he wanted something fun. No, Mandy said that Tom wanted something fun. Or something. She wrote something when we asked for it. The list said, when she asked him what he wanted, he said, something fun. Something Don't fun. know. Oh, don't know. And with that guiding us, we're gift hunting, as well as taking a peek at some of the Easter stuff that's out. It's so cute! It like a I liked it! I thought it was kind of cool looking. You can't always agree on everything. Is that an issue? What? I just got the uh the weather app thing mm -hmm. and it says there is a storm coming. Oh, it just popped up on my phone. Oh, I don't what know. What kind of app is it? It's the weather app. I don't know. I did. You did? Yeah. We need to get home and make okay. sure that the kids didn't blow away. Never seen that before. But we're okay. We got chocolate and the chewy cherry candy. We're gonna be fine. Well, we're in the garage and we've been inside for a while, so I don't know what it looks like outside. But uh, I guess we'll see. Got some chewy candy going on. We've still got some time before the nasty weather hits. The severe weather has not hit quite yet. From what I understand, it's gonna get worse this afternoon and tonight. So plans for washing the car, not gonna happen. The, the, your drink in there, and then you have the snacks up there, and there's the stove. Sandwich cake is very typically Swedish. Sandwich cake or smörgåstårta consists of white bread in layers with mayo, shrimp, salmon, lemon, and dill, mostly. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
Dennis. We read the correct card wrong. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say, Thomas, I'm so happy that you are our son. We love you like crazy. And um, you come and you have all this energy when it comes to fixing things and doing things. And really, it's an inspiration. And I think you're a great dad and you're a good husband. And um, we couldn't have asked for what we could have David a better son. We could have asked for <laughs> I got it. No, no, no. It was a joke with David. He's not very good at all. Sure. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Luckily, to stave off boredom, we have Cassie, the game master, organizing and planning dance games with singing and balloons. It's hard to know what the rules are, but it's entertaining. We are heading home now for Thomas, and the weather is getting worse. It's really pouring down now. Now it's gone down to three degrees. It's gone down to three degrees now from seven. I think so. I think the weather's gonna get worse. Is it gonna get life threatening? So we're going home, babe. I think this time the temperature drop was the worst and the wind all through the night. But it cleared up nicely the next day, even though the wind was still partially doing its thing. He located the, the bolt that was loose. Oh, cool. That's stupidly easy to find that one. No. So today's mission? Clean the cars. Clean the car. Cars. Cars. We're gonna get the van, the van cleaned out, and we're gonna get the car washed. With the weather being the way that it was yesterday and all of last night, it's been it's been crazy windy. I don't feel like the weather was as bad as they said that it was gonna be. No. But um, but with it's the, around uh, freezing. It is, and because it was raining all yesterday, and now, like, it went from 9 degrees to minus 2, we're, we got some ice going on, so it's really, really slippery outside. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. quite sure how or why it happens, but over the winter, the car always becomes a mess. It could be because we're messy, but I'm not admitting to anything. Either way, it's time to spring clean the car, inside and out, as well as collect any recycling and garbage. And for some reason, a lone skate. What? Uh, no, no, all you need is a pity of the people <laughs> what are you doing? She keeps opening the door. How did you open the door? I don't. I didn't it's see that you were there. I didn't see that you were there. Okay. You okay? Yeah. You don't leave. Look through the look through that thing if you can. I'm freezing. It is very windy. At least it's sunny. Okay, what the heck? Oh, that's from when dad was helping Farfar. We got some stuff to do though. The Bluetooth speaker? Yeah, the old, the one that we uh, all basically forgot about.
poems? I think we need some tea. It may be cold, but the sun is out and it's nice to stop in on all the parents and have some tea as well as go nuts for the first flowers of spring. And since it's St. Patrick's Day, we'll celebrate with some green beer. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Hi. Happy St. Pat. I've been very much um, sort of on a mission planning planning wise um, to get healthier, to take care of my body, to rest, to build muscles where I need muscles, to rest when I need rest, you know, all the good things. Um, but it's difficult when I can't quite predict when I'm going to have a flare up or how something is going to affect me. And the frustration of feeling like, okay, I didn't really do a lot Saturday. We got a birthday present for Thomas. Uh, we went and we celebrated with the family. And during this entire time, I was like so chill. I was barely doing anything. I was sitting on the couch, with me and my little crutch being like boring and stuff. But it still like totally zapped me. And ever since Saturday, like uh, 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 my leg has started being even worse, which blows. And I had a plan. <laughs> like, I had a plan. I had a plan and it was a good plan. I liked the plan. And while I still like the plan, and I still think that it was a very good plan, um, I'm having to say, okay, so now my leg is doing something even worse. I don't know what's going on with that, but I need to adjust the plan. And generally speaking, I don't like change. I don't like having to change things when I have made a plan. Seriously though, I think that is the key when it comes to setting up goals and working towards health because none of us are necessarily going to be able to predict exactly the path that we take. But what we can say is this is where I want to end up and I'm going to have to adjust along the way. It's not easy, but we can do it. We have the van back, it is working. So it's time for us to sort of start our plans, like some weekend excursions this spring is gonna be really, it's gonna be really nice. And doing a longer trip to Finland, so that's gonna be really fun. And I think that we're actually going to start off with a trip to my sister and her husband. Um, go down there to Lille Shopping for a little bit. There's a lot of pretty stuff down that area of Sweden, so I do look forward to bringing you guys along with us for that. But till then, until next week, I'm gonna figure out why I can't walk all of a sudden, cause that definitely puts a damper on things and makes stuff harder. So going to see the doctor today, fingers crossed that that goes well, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.